This is the Color Wheel Eye Project. So first, you should have watched the slides that explains the project. And now I'll show you how to get started. Please start with a large sheet of white drawing paper. It should be landscape, so you'll have room for your eye. Uh, the paper that I put in the art bag was 12 inches by 18 inches. And if you can use that, it's great. If not, use what you have. Now we'll be working with a pencil. You may need an eraser, a Sharpie. And I have some of the colors that I need for my color wheel, but some I will have to blend. Now, uh, I'll start with my pencil and I wanna start lightly. That's what artists say. Always go light until it's right. So I'm gonna start in the middle over here and give myself a dot. I'll put a dot over here and this will be my eye. This is like making a hill. Up the hill and down the hill. Now the bottom part. Just match it right up. Now I think I'll add an eyelid up here on top. And maybe a little bit of an eyelid down here on the bottom. Now I want to do the eyeball, so I'm going to do as close as I can get to a circle here. And so in the center, I'll put the pupil of the eye, which is just a smaller circle. If you want to trace around something, you could certainly do that. So now I have the shape of my eye I have the iris, which will be where the color wheel goes, and I have the pupil. So let's start adding a few details. That's going to be the highlight in the middle of the iris, so I'll leave that white, but the pupil will be black. Now I need to divide my color wheel into 12 spaces. So I'll go north and south, east and west, and I have four sections. Now if I draw two lines in each section, make them as even as you can, but they don't have to be that exact. Just two lines. Now, some people um, prefer to label their color wheel so that the letters actually show in their project and some do not. So if you want to have uh, your labeling not show, be sure you do it very lightly. So right around the color wheel, I have red, red, orange, 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 yellow, 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 green, 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 blue. It's not a very nice B. We'll fix that one right up. So I have green. I have, uh, this is supposed to be green, blue, 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 violet, violet, and violet, red. And always remember that violet and purple are the same. So now I'm going to go in with my Sharpie and outline everything. Slow.
I think I'll add some eyelashes. And you can add smaller ones at the bottom uh, if you want to. So this gets outlined as well. Now it's time for me to start uh, coloring in my color wheel. And this is what I found for colors in my box. I don't have every one and I'll be showing you how to blend. So I'm going to start with red. I want a nice vibrant color. Burnishing the color means that you color until it's quite shiny. And that's what I want you to do. No white spaces left. Now I'm going to go on to my, I'm gonna skip red orange for a minute and just go down to my orange. Now I don't have a red orange colored pencil. So as you've probably guessed, I have to blend. Put the lighter color in first. And you don't burnish as much when you have to mix the color. Nice and even. And now I'm going to blend in my red. It's like if I was gonna mix paint. And I want to make sure that this color comes out halfway between my red and my orange. And that gives me my red orange. Now I'm going to have to do the same thing with yellow orange because I don't have a yellow orange colored pencil. So I'll put in my lighter color first. And I'm going to blend in the orange. And that gives me my yellow orange. Now I have um, yellow to color in, yellow green, 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 blue, 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 violet, violet, and violet red. We will be coloring the iris of the eye in solid black. And I grabbed a Crayola marker because I didn't want to use up my Sharpie. It's not working too well. And I want to leave that little um, highlight uncolored. Now, you will be completing the color wheel. Make the color vibrant. The most important thing about a color wheel is that all the colors stay in the correct order. Now that's going to uh, leave us with the iris. You may leave the whites of the eye white. This needs to be colored. This needs to be colored. Now you can do a realistic skin tone if you want to, or you can do uh, 
an eye that has some eye makeup, or you can just do designs here and the same at the bottom. But the only parts of the paper that you're going to leave white will be the highlight and the whites of the eye. So I'm looking for design work. Scribbly coloring, not. I want design work up here. I want design work down here. Make sure you fill it in very carefully and do your very best and be creative. And when you're finished with your work, make sure you sign it in the corner. Thank you.